It's the 2nd of March, 2019, and this is episode 16 of GHV Airfield Savers. Guess where we are? Can you guess where we are? Poppy, can you pan it down? Pan that way. Does it give you any clue? Nope. Okay, you pan up that way. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You might be able to read that screen, or it might not show on the screen. We are inside Concord. The first prototype. The first prototype yes. that Julian has a history with. Go ahead. Oh, well, I was here when it arrived at Duxford in 1977, flown in by uh, Brian Trubshaw, one of the chief test pilots. The Queen's Jubilee year. Yes, he only just got it in. They had to have two attempts right. and just pulled up before the end of the runway. Oh. And uh, we uh, shook his hand and he's yeah. out. I've got photographs of it arriving. Awesome. So I should put somewhere uh, the other that way or that way. I can't oh yeah, we've got, we got the pointing. You've got the pointing wrong way. If I point both ways, we know, we know it's one way or the other. The video. And links to it down there. Yeah. So, and, but more later. Yeah, on more Concord on Doxford as we Duxford. go through the day. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we've just come through Concord, which was a pretty exciting experience for me because I've never been this up close to this beautiful aircraft. And behind us, we've got some aircraft that are also very interesting for Julian. Well, for everyone, really. And everyone, but again, you know, you remember what I said about two or three degrees of, of separation? Julian, you can dad. probably see the big one over there is the Avro Vulcan XJ824. That's what my father used to fly in the Royal Air Force as an air electronics officer back in the 19, uh, late 1950s, early 1960s, from RAF Scampton, Waddington and Finningley. Uh, and did very long distance flying with it, so yeah. thought after his, after his valiant flight. I think he did look at the middle of he has actually flown that very aircraft there. Right. He didn't flown in it there. Yeah. And just the other side of it, the white aircraft here, is the TSR-2. Very famous aircraft that we were going to get to replace the Canberra, which is a Mach 2 Plus aircraft. It would have been one of the most advanced aircraft in the world. It still would have been today, but it got cancelled. Uh, There's a lot of defence cuts back in the, uh, in the 1960s, late 1960s, which is a great change. But the other connection with Concorde is that the engines in both the Olympus engines in both the, the Vulcan and the TSR2 were further developed into the engines that they had in Concorde eventually, so right. with, with, uh, with reheat. So, yeah, so, with uh, reheat, oh, okay. With, with well, reheat. The yes, that's right. The and um, we've got some other aircraft on this needs to be the Avro section because we've got an Avro Lancaster here. Oh yeah, just behind me we've got the, the Lancaster. Yeah, we've got a, an Anson over there, an interloper of a Spitfire which is Supermarine. Just down here and behind the Lancaster. The Avro Vulcan. Yep. The BAC TSR2, but over in the distance, which we'll go on a bit later, is the way. Avro York. You can just see the wings behind TSR2. And that was the aircraft I helped that was for the Aviation Society restore back in the late 1980s when I was a member here. Fantastic. We'll go over and have a wander around and look yes. a bit closer up And uh, next. we have just become members again. And in yes. fact, the, the, the videographer behind you, Poppy, is also, also a member. now a member. And if you just like to spin around, you can have a, have a view of the, of the actual cockpit. The, the nose cone. That's perfect. Okay, great. Thanks, thank you. That's Poppy.